Ah, uh, the boring part, the love. Moving along. Oh, yeah! <laughs> here and back to another Wizarding World Wednesday. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the magical yearbook from the Wizarding World. So last year, I think they came out with the Hogwarts yearbook. And if you would like to see a video on that, let me know in the comment section down below and I can do one for that one. But I wanted to show you guys this one today. So this one is the newest one. And this is the newest magical yearbook. And instead of it just being Hogwarts and Harry Potter centered, it has, I don't know if you can see in the sticker, it has Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast, which is super exciting. And I'm going to be doing a flip through on this right now. So let's just begin. So this is the cover. You can see some beautiful wands. And there you could see the Deathly Hallows logo, a lightning bolt the Makusa logo, and a Niffler? Okay, and if we turn to the back, we've got some cool images from Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, both of the movies. And I'm not too sure if this is going to be super informative or not, so let's just do our flip through. So here's what the end papers look like, and look how pretty this looks. It's beautiful. And then here you can write who it belongs to. I didn't get to write that yet. Here you can check off if you're a witch, a wizard, a muggle, or a nomage, depending if you're a Fantastic Beast or Harry Potter fan. Or you could say you're a squib, whichever one. Which I think is really cool. And then we also have Pickett there. And this includes um, little activities that you can do posters, coloring pages, and, and and facts on the on both series. Um so yeah. So here we have what you could probably like have as a poster with Newt's Commander and Harry Potter. And then here you have a page that you can color in. Whoa. Then we have the table of contents and then a page that says welcome to the wizarding world. Here, you can probably use this as a poster. It's a Fantastic Beast kind of artwork page. We have a whole entire page about Newt Scamander, and in here you can draw like what you would put into your magical case if you had one. And then a page on New York City. And then right here, you can cut these out, and you can use them as little postcards, which I think are pretty cute. So there's a bunch of different designs. Well, not a bunch, just a couple. And then here, hold on, let me use my other hand. So this says the Wizarding World Guide to Wands and Spells. So this is probably ha this probably has a bunch of information on wands and spells, obviously. And this actually kind of flips out, so let me show you. Wait, is this the page? No, it's this one. Okay, so <laughs> this whole thing flips out. So you've got... You've got all of the wands, well not all of them, but some of the wands from some of the famous characters of the movies. So you can see Newt's, Tina's, Queenie's, Percival Graves, and Serafina Pickery's. And if you flip it out, you can put, you can use this right here to see which wand is yours. And you can design your wand, which I think is pretty cool. And this book is perfect for like little kids who are Harry Potter fans as well. Here you have your wand permit, which you can design, and if we flip it out, um, you have some information about certain spells, and if I move this over, here, what does it say? And you can create your own spell here too, which I think is pretty cool. So you really get to use your imagination on this book, which I love so much. And then we have a whole section on all some of the beasts. I keep saying all and then some. Oops. And then you could color in this little poster as a Niffler and there's another poster for Fantastic Beasts which is also double-sided with a Muggle Worthy poster so if you wanted you could choose one of those to put on your wall. Here we have a section on the Obscurus and you can design your Transfiguration Today magazine. And 
now we move on to the wonderful section of Harry Potter, which is really cool. So once again, you can use this one as a poster. So beginnings and owl post, and you can write your own letter to Harry Potter in there, which I think is cool. Some, it has, this, set, this section here has some information about some of the characters, and then some information about the houses of Hogwarts, and like with the other ones, these ones you can cut out and use as postcards. Famous faces of certain houses, and then here, which I, this is probably my favorite part of this book, you have your powerful potion section and the caring for creatures section with Hagrid, because you can have that, and you can, there's like some little activities you can do there, and then some cool information about some of the awesome creatures. Then here we have a section on the really cool Triwizard Tournament. Ah, uh, the boring part, the love. Moving along, oh yes, we have a section on Quidditch, which I think is really cool. You could see some of the brooms, Quidditch equipment, lots of cool stuff there. And then hidden horcruxes, and I love this horcruxes, that was like perfect. Then here we have the a timeline of Elbless Dumbledore's life, which I think is really cool, as well as a timeline for Lord Voldemort's life, which is also really cool. And is that it? Nope. We have a section on Dementors and Patronuses, which I love. Really pretty and cool. Then we have a section on the Order of the Phoenix, Dumbledore's Army, the Deathly Hallows, Death Eaters, just lots of cool stuff. And finally, the Battle of Hogwarts. And that's where this book comes to an end. I'm really happy that I have this book. It's so nice and it has a lot of nice artwork in it to be used as posters for my room or it also has some really cool activities and things in it that I'm, I really want to get to doing. So yeah, but anyways, that's gonna end it for today's Wizarding World Wednesday. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you have this book or really just anything you want that as long as it's Harry Potter related or Fantastic Beasts related also. Please subscribe if you haven't already and tap the bell to stay tuned for more Harry Potter related videos. But yeah, that's going to end it for today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Goodbye!